Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Alex and you're watching the Linux Realm. Today we're going to look at the four main reasons why I'm ditching Arch Linux for a new distro. Can you guess what that distro is gonna be? Type your answer in the comment section below and watch till the end to find out. Now let's dive into the video. Reason number one, constant problems with various software after every update. Some of the main issues involve Caden Life where it fails to start, crashes during video editing, or crashes when rendering the final video. Then there is the issue with Audacity where it fails to start. And there is also an issue with video players, audio players, and even YouTube videos where they lack audio completely. And for the case of YouTube videos, they fail to play at all. For more details on how to deal with that situation, check out this video over here or in the description below. Reason number two, huge waste of internet data to make a significant update on the OS. We all know that Arch Linux is a cutting edge Linux distro, meaning that you get the latest updates as soon as they are available. This is evident from the beginning at the installation of Arch Linux where you require internet connection to update all the packages and the repositories so that you get the OS in the latest form possible. Now with subsequent updates, you always get a huge chunk of content to be downloaded, but the net change on your operating system is very insignificant. More especially if you do constant updates on a weekly basis. And this can be costly and unsustainable in the long run, especially if you have a limited internet connection like I do. Reason number three, high chances of system failure with every update. Updating your system on a weekly basis is not a bad thing to do, but it, it comes with the risk of breaking your system. At the same time, it is understandable to leave your system without updates if things are working as expected. It is understandable that sometimes you just need your system to work, but then leaving it without updates increases the chances of system failure or your system breaking the next time you decide to update if you haven't done so in a long period of time. So there is the problem that you will constantly face as an Arch Linux user, depending on whatever time you decide to update your system. Either way, there is always a slight risk. Reason number four, the excitement is over. From the beginning, the first reason why you install a new distro is always to explore something new. And for this case, in particular for my case, the reason for installing Arch was to explore it and navigate the challenge of installing Arch Linux itself, which I did successfully. Then comes the issue of making the distro work the way you expect it to, or rather make it your daily operating system, which I've done successfully and it has worked flawlessly, despite a few challenges here and there, but it has worked for me for the last five months or so. So at this point, there's nothing more to explore on Arch Linux, which is why I'm looking out to find a new distro, which I'll be installing next and in case you're wondering what my next distro is going to be, if you mentioned OpenSUSE, then you guessed right. I made a video a few days ago about OpenSUSE where I tried it on a virtual machine and that video is linked below in the description. So right now I've decided I'm going to install OpenSUSE on my PC and see what it has to offer. And there you have it folks, the four main reasons why I'm ditching Arch Linux. If you'd like to learn more about my next distro, which is OpenSUSE, make sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and catch you on the next one.